going on everybody welcome back to the channel and another race vlog we're headed to round two round two this is the Berkshire Hills I believe it's called Berkshire Hills Iowa um, this one is about a five hour drive we got the girl in the back the e-bike is back there too we're gonna be staying with my buddy Muff you guys know Muff so he invited me to come up on Saturday and stay with him which is nice so I won't have to drive all day tomorrow um, round three we will definitely be camping I was a little pressed on time uh, this race with getting the last few things done and prepped on the camper and unfortunately the wife is not with us and she could also she wasn't able to camp this weekend so I wasn't gonna camp alone and get everything ready and drag the camper and all that bull crap so just to make things easy we'll stay with muff this round but round three we will camp but we will be there today to bike the track check it out we'll show you guys some of that and we'll be able to capture some race action in the morning races which will be fun so we'll grab some of the uh, peewee races and some of the mini races probably just do uh, the, the peewee quads and the mini quads and then maybe next round we'll switch it up and grab the mini bikes and the peewee bikes but we will try to see if we have any friends that will be here this weekend that maybe can take the GoPro and grab some footage of our race of the big quad so that would be pretty cool so we'll try to see who's around for that and maybe get grab you guys some footage but this is the boring part the boring long part five hour drive we are doing pretty good as far as traffic goes and all that because we left nice and early but we'll do a little time warp action for you guys and fast forward and get this drive over with so let's go all right we friggin made it people we got Muff, Kelly, Axel, the mini muffin right there. <laughs> the Marriott, that's where we're staying tonight. The Marriott on wheels. Got the rig right here. Show you guys the setup. Quad in the back. Bike rack and the e-bike. We're gonna do a little track preview on the bike. I'll show you guys some of that and then probably just eat after that. We're waiting on Mark and Trevor. They got a flat on the way up so that they're probably gonna be Probably a couple hours before they get here. They're gonna, they're gonna... Get everything unloaded. Bike the track. It's supposed to rain a little later, but uh, tomorrow looks good, so shouldn't have to worry about mud. We'll see how the track looks, but last year, last time we raced there was pretty bad. It was just had some had a lot of mud. Well, hopefully this year will be a little better. Let's see get out there I'll we'll show you guys some stuff all right we just hit the five the five mile marker that was like right down there so you come down like a, a fresh cut this is all fresh cut they're calling this the stairway to heaven so we got the pro line right there and then you got the bypass right here we're gonna ride the bypass because we're on the e-bikes and that's really loose we're not going to make it up there so i'm going to keep going but so far this track is awesome it's reversed which is cool and they cut in a lot of new stuff so it's pretty friggin awesome it's very fast in the beginning the start is even backwards but so far so good so let's keep going three quarters i mean it might be all right we finished finish line what do you think muff i like it some good sections some yep. good lines a lot of new stuff some good hill climbs out there a lot of new stuff out there we saw the whole direction is reversed. There's a couple spots that are the same direction, like this last section, but it's all new. We don't go in this field anymore. We stay through the woods, but almost 10, they said 11, so it's a little shy. So we'll have to see how the bikes do as far as their laps go. And if they get four, then we'll probably get three. So well, definitely a good track, a lot of fun. It's super fast, super fast on the e-bikes. Filling up in here, you can see all the campers down low. Probably grab some lunch and uh, we'll probably show you maybe some of the registration stuff uh, later on. Good morning, everyone. It's freaking race day. Little cloudy still. The rain finally stopped. It just rained kind of lightly on and off all throughout the night. The sun's supposed to come out a little later. We just had some breakfast. Things are getting underway. We're going to go check out the P1 
Hiwi quads, I believe, our first up. We're going to check those guys out, give you guys some action from those guys, and then we'll check out the mini quads after that. So we got to get to the starting line and uh, get ready for race number one. <laughs>
buddy. Get there, Travis. Get it. Pass on in. All right, you guys know what time it is. That's the end of the race vlog. We made it home. We didn't f bother filming on the ride home yesterday only because of the situation with my race. Unfortunately, you guys, we had a bad day. Sometimes it happens. We got a big fat DNF. We did not finish. We made it not even a mile into the, into the race. Lap one had a great start. Second, Scott Barrett had a massive hole shot. Congrats to him. I believe he finished second, so that was a good day for him. Moving along good, me and him were moving, and uh, I just came up on this little section, kind of in a field section, where it was a little greasy, a little slippery, and the quad started to slide. I tried to correct, and then next thing you know, I'm on my butt, quad flipped over, and uh, I'll show you guys the thumb throttle. So nothing broke, but everything kind of got moved. So you can see the thumb throttle right here. Now this does move a little bit. I had it moving yesterday, but actually it won't move because I got to loosen up. I need to loosen up my hand guard, my grip, all this stuff. But you can see the quad was upside down. The hand guards are pushed down. That hand guard's pushed down. Throttle got pushed in. I don't think there's any other damage besides that. But we will look at her over uh, once we wash her. But not a good day. Definitely a bummer. I'm still... I'm still bummed guys you know I put a lot into this I want to do good you know I'm out there against myself you know I want to win I want to go out there and win I want to beat all those other guys but it's not really it's not like that for me it's about me being the best that I can be me it's me against myself that's that's how I look at it you know a lot of these guys I've raced with I battle with them so you know it's it's this is tough so the the bad part of, of racing you know sometimes you have a bad day where you break down the quad breaks or you crash and uh, I wasn't able to finish so it's it's a bummer for sure but we got four weeks off before round three so while that's a good thing it's also a bad thing because if I came off round two doing good then you know it would be good to have this time off but now it's like I'm kind of back to square one where I've been putting in the work. You guys see that. So I just want to get back out there and redeem myself. So I have to wait. We got to wait four weeks. But we're going to get this girl cleaned up. We got to clean the e-bike, clean the boots, clean the gear. You guys know, you guys know the deal. Show you the e-bike. It's a little muddy, not horrible. So enough of the negativity. Let's get into the race weekend leading up to the race. So we had a great weekend. We got to stay with my buddy Muff. You guys know who he is. We got to stay with him and his girl Kelly and their daughter. And uh, they, they uh, let me stay with them. So huge thank you to those, you know, them. It was great. They fed me, took care of me. It was great. Definitely nice going up Saturday. We were able to bike the track. And guys, the track looked mint. Like me and Muff rode it on Saturday. And it looked mint. I know we had a little rain on Saturday night, but the track honestly, it, it could, it you, it, it needed it because there was dusty sections. And come come Sunday, like, you know, the fields were really dusty. There was some sections like on the start and in the open that were dusty. So it had some muddy spots, but I don't think it was anything worse than round one. But I mean, come on, you, all you guys are XC races, so if it's muddy, it's muddy. All right, it's not that bad. I'd rather honestly race in the mud than uh in the dust the dust can be very dangerous so uh we grabbed some some footage of the peewee quads of the mini quads and my buddy andrew took the camera and he grabbed all the starts of the big quads he ended up seeing me come off the track after this happened so he came and checked on me made sure i was all right but he ended up uh giving me the gopro back because I, I i left early guys i wasn't going to stick around i was 
I was upset, you know? You know how it goes. I was pissed. I don't, I'm done talking about it. We're done. We're moving, we're moving on to round three in four weeks. Seneca Highlands. That's a great track. Um, we're going to get this girl cleaned up, go through everything, make sure she's good to go. We'll probably do at least one motocross practice day between now and then. So that'll be good just to make sure the quad is good to go. This girl does not need much. She runs. We're going to get our graphics ordered this week. Take care of the last few things. We did order our clutch lever. Um, and I think that's it. Shocks are maybe a week or two out. Um, but, but we have these we can use temporarily. Um, ties are up there. Pretty much it for that girl. So it'd be nice to get this girl done and ride, you know, get a ride on her before round three because if I could do that, then I would probably race this girl, but we're not gonna worry about that. We're gonna, the plan is clean up the black quad, go through it, make sure everything's good, and maybe get a practice ride between now and the next race, and then we'll race this one. But we are camping on that, on that race, guys, so we'll have the camper there. It'll be fun. Seneca is always a great venue as far as the location the property is one of the one of Niowa's best it's huge huge property we've raced GNCC's there and uh the Niowa's as well so we'll get there on Friday nice and early give you guys the usual race vlog action but I hope you guys enjoyed this video unfortunately our race video is going to be super short like five minutes because I crashed out but this vlog should be good we got like I said a lot of a lot of action from the peewees, the minis, and then all the starts from the big quad. So we'll try to do the same thing for round three. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. But that's a wrap, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Drop some comments. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you on the next one. All right? Peace.